Hi guys, so welcome to our new coach training. Um, so there's a lot of you that are in my downline that are also in this group. So I wanted to make this video for you because your coach may not have done it yet or just may not have done it at all, a getting started right call. So I just kind of wanted to make a quick video about what I would do, what I do on my getting started right calls. And so this would help get you started right along with everything else that you're going to get in this training. So for those who don't know, I am Jackie Enos, and I am the CEO of Team Mad. So welcome to our Mad family. Um, we strive to make a difference daily in everyone that we meet. Um, so my goal is to get you guys started right in your business right from the very beginning. So I'm actually going to share my screen to go over some of the things um, that you need as tools that are going to help you with success in your business. Um, so in our team training, in the file section, you're gonna see a couple of these documents. I'm gonna put them in there for you. And so I would suggest that you save those to your computer, create a file for Beachbody, and you can even make subfolders under it. That's what I do. And so I have a folder that might be stuff for challenge groups and a folder that's stuff for all new coach training and all new coach documents. So that way, every time I get a new coach, I can go to that new coach folder and I can click on a bunch of the things that I need them to have so they have the tools. So you can save it under that so that when you build your team and you have new coaches, you have those documents and tools to send them so that they start with success. So the first thing I am going to do, if I can share my screen and I have a million things open. So let's just go to desktop. And hopefully we can come over here. So the first one, and I'm hoping that you guys can see, is this is called your business activity tracker. You will find it in the teams, the file section under Team Mad. You're gonna find it in your new coach training group in the file section. And you can also find this on your coach online office on your Team Beach Body website. And I'm gonna show you how to get there afterwards. Um, but this is what you should do. And you should use this as a guide every single day, every week. So our Beachbody weeks are Thursday through midnight on Wednesday night. So you can literally either save them to your computer if you don't want to print them out. I like hand copies of things, so I would just print one out. You could print one out for the month, so put print out four. Some months, I guess, you have five weeks. And um, this just helps you know, are you doing our daily activities? Are you doing our three vital behaviors? So again, you can put in, and now some coaches will require that you send them to them. I'm going to require certain information in our coach training group. Um, but this is really good for you to have to say, am I actually doing the work? So if you start to complain that your business isn't growing and you want to blame your upline coach, you are now your CEO. Your upline coach is not your boss or your manager. They are your teammate. They are here to help lead you and guide you. They are not there to check in constantly and are you doing this? Are you doing that? You have to want to work your business. So this is a tool that you can have to say, okay, this is what I'm doing. And it's a good wake up call if you get to the end of two weeks and you see a bunch of zeros or very low numbers compared to what you set your goal for. So let's go through them. The first one is obviously one of our vital behaviors is being proof the product works. Doing your workouts, drinking your Shakeology. So proof the product works. Every, what's your goal? Is your goal to drink Shakeology seven, excuse me, seven days a week? Is your goal to work out five to seven days a week? What is that goal? You're going to put them here. So the goal is all going to go down this first column, okay? So if my goal is seven days a week, I'm going to work out, and seven days a week, I'm going to drink my Shakeology, then across Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I should see a bunch of sevens. So if I get to Wednesday and I look, and I see seven, I mean, and I, and I see a check mark here, but not here, here, but not, and I'm seeing that I'm missing, and I'm wondering why I'm not getting results. Well, I'm not drinking my shake and I'm not doing my workout. So that right there is where you know you need to improve. Personal development. Those of you who've been on our team, you know that I love personal development, um, but then sometimes I really do suck at getting through a book. So I have become obsessed with podcasts, or I used to go to, before I even knew about podcasts, I went to YouTube, and I love John C. Maxwell and Brandon Bouchard, and they have a lot of like books on tape that are being read on YouTube. 
So I would listen to that when I was running at the gym for an hour every day. Um, and now, thank God I just discovered Audible, which I'm sure has been around forever, but I've already gone through two books this past weekend because I listened to it all day. So when I'm sitting here working, when I'm working out, I mute my workouts. When I'm in the car and I'm driving, I'm listening to personal development. When I'm cooking or cleaning or just doing mindless work, I have it on. So this has been a huge tool. So Audible is great. And then also for those who are into podcasts, Team Beachbody has a podcast. So if you can't get listen to the National Wake Up Call live, the recording will also be posted on a podcast. So you can listen to it as you go. And then you can actually fast forward. You don't really need to sit there and listen to all the rank advancements at the beginning of the call. You can fast forward the first seven or so minutes and get to the actual call, which is great, especially if you have a short lunch break or whatever, and that's when you choose to listen to your personal development. So it says read or listen to 10 minutes. Now, don't just say, oh, I got 10 minutes and I'm done. All right. The second part with that is, yeah, you can check it off. Okay, so my goal is seven days a week personal development, and I see that I've only done it three days a week. Well, that's where I really need to improve, okay? Also, it's just like when you take a class. If you sit there and you listen to your teacher or your professor, and they just talk and talk and talk, and you're in class, you're listening, but you're not studying it and learning the material and then going to be able to apply it and then do well on your test or whatever your project is, what good is it that you sat in class? Same thing with your personal development. I don't care that you've read three books. I don't care that you can listen to whatever all day long. But if you you can be the best student and listen and listen and listen and listen and you're like, I am listening like crazy. But if you don't apply it to your business and to your life and let it change your mindset, then it's it's just you've just spent so much wasted time. And if you guys talk about you don't know what to post about, I'm constantly sharing things and tidbits and different things from my personal development as a post. So that totally gives you tons of new material that you can share in your daily posts, okay? So staying connected is the next one. So your new coach monthly, you'll get an email with new coach information or just weekly information um, or monthly information for that. The national wake-up call, our team groups and team mag, you want to be checking those, I mean, on Facebook. You want to be checking into those often, and you do need to log into your coach online office daily. And on the right-hand side, it's coach breaking news, and there will always be a new link added with new information for you. Okay, so social media, posting three times a day. So especially new coaches, you come in and you're super excited for Beachbody, but your family and friends and those connections that you currently have are not. And especially if you were never one to post about health and fitness and then all of a sudden all you're doing is health and fitness, it's too much. So we, there's trainings in Team Mad and I talk about, I want you to choose five areas of things that are interest to you, that make you who you are. And those are the topics you're going to share about. So yeah, you can share about your workouts every day. Yes, you can share a healthy meal that you're eating every day and alternate that with your Shakeology. Don't post your Shakeology every single day alternate it, change it up. And then you want to talk about how things are affecting you. So how are you feeling through your workout? Not just here's a sweaty selfie, but like, oh my gosh, when I started two weeks ago, I could only, I couldn't even do a push up. And now two weeks later, I can do five push ups on my toes before I have to go back to my knees. That's showing improvement. That's showing progress. Okay. So obviously there's a weight progress and pictures are great to show transformation, but you also want to talk about and share about how um, you're getting stronger in your workouts, how they are benefiting you. How is Shakeology benefiting you? Are you able to come off medication? Has it decreased your, have you lost weight? Has it decreased your cravings for chocolate? Instead of having ice cream at night, you have a chocolate Shakeology because it's not worth those empty calories and this way you're putting something good into your body. Do you want to share about those kinds of things? So you do want to have three posts. If you're a mom of the kids or you're big into family, you need to share that because that's how other moms and people who are big into family are going to connect with you. They're not going to connect with you necessarily on fitness. They're not going to connect with you on health. They're going to connect with you and bond with you and establish a relationship around family. And then from there, you can take it into fitness and introduce them and help them. Okay? So it can't be, I don't want to see a post every five minutes. I don't want to see a post every other, you know, every hour. 
Okay, so you want to do three to five. If you want to do a few more, space them throughout the day. Think about when is your target market online. So if it's a really good post, you don't want to post it at 6 a.m. when either people are still sleeping or they're in the middle of their workout if they're working out. They're not going to see your post at 6 a.m. Same thing if most of your people are working at 11 a.m. Maybe 11 a.m. isn't the best time for you to post. Or again, I know some of you guys really like to post at like 10.30 at night, but most people are either getting ready for bed or in bed at 10.30 at night. Don't make your best post when nobody's around to see it. So think about when your target market is online, and that's when you're going to post about those things. So I don't want it to be, your page should not just be blown up with tons and tons of things. The other thing that I always stress to you guys is this, your, your, your social media is now your storefront. So just because you see a funny picture or you see a funny video, it doesn't mean that you share every single thing now that maybe you used to before because you used to just post whatever. Okay, so you've got to think about, is this adding value to anybody? Is this going to be my target market? Is this going to help anybody? Is this sharing with people about a part of who I am? And if it's not, you can like it and move on. You don't need to share it to your page. And remember about sharing, we're not sharing other coaches and pages. If you like something that another coach did, take your own picture with you in it, make your own quote on there, change up the wording, take the idea from them, put it into your own words and make your own post. You're not trying to send all of your potential people to follow somebody else. All right. So it's kind of a lot in all in one. But anyway, so again, you want to make sure you're doing that daily. Are you adding? Are you sending out three to five new Facebook contacts every day? Again, we talk about there's that people you may know section. Maybe you find people that you used to go to high school with and you reconnect college with and you reconnect. You used to work with them years ago. So you want to find people that you have mutual friends with. They're more likely to accept your friend request. And then you don't just message them and say, join my challenge group. No, you say, oh my gosh, how are you? I haven't seen you in like five years. How are you doing? Check out their page. Do they have kids now? They got married, different things. And you just want to reestablish a connection, a relationship with people. People are not just going to join you. They have to have trust with that. And that takes time. You have to be constantly in private messages, building relationships with people. Okay. Um, how many people have you invited to join your next challenge group? So I know it's really scary as a new coach, but you should be cho choosing it for now we're in January. You would choose a date in February. Again, you want to have at least three weeks before then. So you could even choose to do one towards the end of February. Okay. But you want to be inviting three, uh, two to five people to join your challenge group every single day. And then you've got to build your team. So if you never talk about the coach opportunity and if you never say, hey, have you ever considered? Maybe it's somebody that's really into fitness. Maybe it's a challenger that you've had that has had great results. They are so awesome in your challenge group and they are commenting on other people and they're encouraging other people and they're sharing great information. Pull them aside, message them and say, hey, have you ever considered being a coach? And most people are going to be like, oh, I can't do that or no, I've never considered it and let them know why you think they would be a good coach, okay? So you can't expect people to join your team if you don't ask them. It just doesn't happen that way. Same thing for your groups. People don't just fall out of nowhere. Doesn't usually happen. And then you wanna follow up. So you wanna follow up with your customers, your prospects, maybe you, that's why you gotta write everything down. Um, keep a notebook of names and who did you talk to and what did you talk to them about? So if I talk to Stacy on, last Monday about a program that she was interested in, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to follow up on Wednesday or Thursday with her. And so she knows to expect a message from me to say, okay, you had all the information, any other questions that you might have, what did you think about this program? Does it fit your need? Okay. So follow up with it. And then, um, again, you want to check back in. If you're running challenge groups, you want to check back in with your current customers and challengers you want to check in with your team if you have one or check into your team pages and then this just gives you a small little space to do a follow-up list with people's names um, but you can also keep a notebook on the side and so then at the end of the week you're going to do a tally did you really how many people did you add if it says at the end of a week you've only added two new contacts that means that you're not adding new contacts daily so that's an area to improve 
If you've only got, if you've got zero customers, that means you need to invite more people. You need to be talking to more people. Same thing with coaches. Coaches takes a little bit harder to get than challengers. So it does take talking to more and more people. As um, Brian Tracy says, go for no. It's a great personal development book. Success club points. Okay, if you got a couple customers who bought a challenge pack, then you should have some success club points. And so that's where your money is going to start. It's going to initially start as retail. And then as you build your team, it's going, to, it's going to grow in terms of volume. So the next one that I wanted to share with you guys is, this is what I go over. This is what I go over with my new coaches. So you'll see this in the, the training group, the new coach academy group, your seven day quick start guide. So the first thing I tell all new my new coaches, it says my coach ID. If you are not sure, you should have gotten it from Beachbody. Um, and then when you log in, and I'll show you how to see your coach online office, it'll show you what your coach ID is. When I was a brand new coach um, and I was working full time, I didn't have it memorized, but you should all have like a notes app on your phone. So what I do is I have one that is completely for Beachbody. So it has my coach ID on it. It has the national wake up call. Um, Phone number, which is, I could have sworn it was on here. I'll find it. I'm sure it's on here. Um, but if not, it's on other things. And then this is the coach relations phone number. So if you need to get in touch with coach relations or you need to email coach relations for your own orders or a customer order or coach in your downline, that's the information. In our team page there's also a file that has all this information for you so you can copy it and save it to a notes app there's also an email that you would give your customers for customer relations at teambeachbody.com and a different phone number for customer relations for them to call in if they have to check on an order okay um so this is just something for you to go over our three vital behaviors this is what literally drives your business if you are not consistent in these three things, then your business will not grow. I can promise you that. When I started as a new coach, I was doing the first two more than the last one. And honestly, personal development has been the biggest game changer and probably is going to drive your business more than you even know. Okay, so the first one should not say invite, invite, invite. It's really connecting, connecting, connecting. So you're connecting with people, you're building those relationships. And then you're saying, hey, I know you mentioned that you wanted to lose weight, or hey, I'm not sure if this would interest you, but I actually have a group of people starting on such and such date. It's a fun accountability group. It's around fitness and nutrition, so we can support each other and make healthier choices and reach our goals. Would that interest you? So inviting to challenge groups, inviting to the coach opportunity, building those relationships, sending out those new contact invites, new friend requests on whatever social media you're using and connecting with people. Number two, proof the product works. Are you actually working out? Are you using our workouts? I'm not saying you can't go for a run. I'm not saying you can't take a class at a gym if you already belong to a gym. But if you're never doing any of our Beachbody workouts, it's really hard to tell people how amazing they are and how great they're gonna get results from them if you're like, oh, I don't ever use those. So you gotta be proof the product works. Mix it up. And are you drinking your Shakeology? Are you using any of our performance line? Again, don't be the pot coddle, killing kettle black. It's really hard to tell somebody this is so good for you. Shakeology can really change your life if you're not yourself using it. So share how it makes you feel, how these products are working for you. Not just you in a picture of your Shakeology, have my daily shake, right? People get so tired of that. It's cute once in a while, but you got to tell them why you love it so much because they think you just get paid to sell it. Not really. That's not how it works. All right. And then personal development, reading, listening to it. You have access, part of your club, your, your coach fee, that 1595. Yes, it's for all your websites and it's for all the shipping and processing and all the information that they give us in our coach online office, but it also gives you access to Success Magazine on demand. So there's so many things back there, and I'll show you that really quick too. Okay, so personal development is key. All right, so here we go. I knew it. 
There is the Monday morning national wake up call. So again, you can save this phone number in there. So all you have to do on your phone is press bing call and it will put you on the national wake up call. Um, our weekly payouts are on Thursday mornings. So as you start to earn, so if you sold something this week, it won't show up this Thursday. It's on the following Thursday. Um, and so this is the biggest area where I like to spend time with my new coaches. I'm hoping you guys can see my cursor and it's your why. Your why needs to be stronger than I could, I want to make some extra income or I enjoy helping people or I kind of really like health and fitness. That is not going to help you push through the days when you've heard 15 no's from people. That's not going to help you on the days where you've worked a really long day, the kids are driving you crazy, your husband is driving you crazy, the house is a mess, the kids are crying, they're not sleeping, you haven't gotten good sleep, and you just really want to curl up and go to sleep, but you know you haven't done anything to do with your business yet. And so when you set your business hours and during our training group, we're going to talk about power hour. You're not having to work your business all day long, especially if you're already working. Um, you need to have a strong reason why. Okay. So some people, some coaches on the national anchor call, you'll hear them. One coach, she was in $400,000 worth of debt because she had a very sick little child that for that little girl. That was her motivation, and she is now a multi-millionaire, okay? That was her drive for four years. She worked her tail off, all right? She didn't sleep really well. She didn't sleep a ton, and she worked her business crazy. She didn't have a regular job, but she did have this really sick kid, so that was her reason why. For me, I've lost my purpose with teaching. I had been out of the, the, the public school for a couple of years. I was bouncing around between child care center. So I went from teaching to child care. Oh my God, nightmare. And then I was working at a center for special needs teenagers because I was a special ed teacher and I was not happy. I didn't like my job. I did not agree with my boss. I was stressed to the max. I completely lost my, lost my purpose. I was going day to day through the motions. I was stressed. I was depressed and I needed out. So that was my why. My why was I had always believed in this business and I was going to work it as hard as possible to leave that job. So I did this past May. So now I get to do this full time. Um, so you need to have a strong reason why. A lot of people, it's to retire their husband or it's so that they can stay home and take care of their kids while bringing in an income that they would have had before if they were still working. So you need a strong reason why. Otherwise, you're not going to work this business when the going gets tough. And it's a business. It's going to get tough at times. So you need a reason to really push you. Okay. The next thing I really go over is goals. So month one, I want them to be a success starter. Beachbody has this awesome thing that in your first month as a coach, if you hit success club, you get a, a, a personal phone call with our CEO, Carl Deichler. If you hit it in your first three months of being a coach, you earn yourself a free ticket to come to our National Coach Summit, which is in Nashville again this year. Uh, amazing. Amazing. You do not want to miss these events. Okay. Um, so Success Club, not only will you start to, to create a client list, you're going to create some customers, you're going to create some income from their purchases. And then you are starting yourself on the road to success. Your non-negotiable every month should be Success Club 5. That's challenge packs are two points. And if they just get uh, Shakeology, but it's on home direct auto ship, one point. So usually most of the time, most people end up with six points uh, because they get three challenge packs. So three people. you got to help three people buy a full package, okay? So that my goal for month one, that's my goal for them, is to hit success club. They want to start to see some success. It's going to boost their confidence a little bit. That is my goal. So from 30 days from their start day, that's when they want to aim to hit success club. Month two is to advance them to an Emerald coach. Now, many coaches will advance in the first month, but some do not, and that's totally okay. Emeralds, if you look over here, you are this coach, the blue coach, and you're going to have a coach on your left leg and a coach on your right leg. Okay, so you just need two coaches. 
They can be two discount coaches, meaning they both love Shakeology, they don't want to work the business, but they're going to get Shakeology every month, so they might as well save on it. Sign them up as a coach. Let them know they can save $20 a month on it. Okay, some people sign up their spouse as one coach, and then they have somebody else sign up on the other leg, and that gets them to Emerald. That's what I did with mine. Okay, so success club five is the, the, the goal for month one. Emerald is the goal for month two. That should be your goal. You should want to grow your business. You should want to hit these milestones from the beginning. Your business will grow if you continue to hit success club every single month. I promise you that. That's money coming in and residual income starts to build from month to month to month. Okay. So go public. Your coach should have made a, a big welcome with a picture welcoming you publicly to the team, not just in the team page, but on their Facebook page, which will show up on your Facebook page, which will let your family and friends know this is what you're doing. But they might not understand that. So my goal is then that you make your own post saying something along the lines of like, you know, this is giving you an idea here about going public. Pick a start date for your challenge group and et cetera. You can, you can start it off that way by saying in, with a challenge group post or you can just say, you know, maybe after a few days into the business, you are on this high. You've never felt better or more motivated. And you can make a big thing about like, hey, guys, I'm not sure you know what I'm doing, but I'm, I decided to invest in my health. I needed to make some changes. And I'm doing this for... Um, you know, for myself and for my family. Um, and I became a coach because I'm continuing to work on my own fitness and health journey. I want to lead by example for my family and I want to be able to provide for them. So that's what I'm doing. So, you know, something like that. Okay. It doesn't have to be big, but just let people know what you're doing or you're going to eventually, I'm going to challenge you to make your first challenge group post. And here's the deal. Your upline will be, or you can join mine. Your first challenge group, you can run it alongside. So you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to run my own group by myself. I don't even know what to do. We have scripts. We have a whole guidelines for 21 days. For a 21-day group, you don't have to come up with the material on your own, okay? There's tons of material on our team page for you. But you can always do it along with your coach until you are ready to break off and run your own. But you do need to break off at some point and run your own. You are a leader. You became a coach. Boom, you're an instant leader. And this gives you a list of area to find 10, um, 21 people that you're going to reach out to. My mistake was I put everybody I knew that went to a gym. But you're preaching to the choir. Most gym goers don't think you can get a good workout at home. And they're already working out. So why are they, do they want to join my group? So this is where you got to reach out to other people who you think this would really benefit them. They need to make some changes or they, they're so inconsistent with their workouts. This would give them accountability every single day. So again, these, this list of 21 would be the first people that you're going to reach out to and invite them to join your challenge group. Okay. And then this just gives you an idea of scripts that you can use. We have lots of them in our team page. Um, and I'm going to show you about Coach Basics, and you're getting a, a, a revamped Coach Basics that I think really nails it in our Coach Training Academy. So let me see if I can get that one. And I thought there was one more document that I wanted to show you. Okay, so I'm just going to come here to show you how to use your Coach Online Office. So again, you're going to go to teambeachbody.com. And then at the very top over here, right now it says sign out but you would sign in. Then you're going to put your whatever your email, your username is, and your password, you're going to sign in. So then you're going to see your name up here. So this is mine. Then you're going to come over to the Coach button, hover over it, and you'll see this drop-down menu. You click Coach Online Office. This is where you need to check every single day. Now, my computer has a million browsers, so it's super slow. Okay, so right now, you're going to see that if you're on Shakeology, um, and if you're a brand new coach, it might take a few days, okay, or give it a week. But you should see that you have 90 points, so that's your Shakeology. So do you qualify? It should show 90 points, and yes. I also have some of the performance line on mine. Um, and then total success club points. You want to go for five. This past year, I hit 10 or higher every month. That's my goal this month. So I'm at 12 so far. My goal for you is five. You're helping three lives. We call it the three lives club. 
Um, here, up here is where your coach ID, that number I was talking about, the reason why you want to save that in your phone and have it is because you will need that all the time. When I worked full time, I needed to give information to people all the time, but I was at work. Copy and paste was my life. I had my Beachbody website that you now have with yours. I had my coach ID. I had the coach relations phone number or customer relations phone number, customer relations email. Today I met somebody and they messaged me and they said, hey, I want to join your group, but I kind of already have a Beachbody account. I'm not working with a coach, but I bought from Beachbody or I bought from Beachbody years ago off an infomercial. I have no idea who my coach is. I'm not working with anybody or I had a coach, but she's not working the business. She's not helping me. I haven't heard from her in months. Then I say, okay, if it's your choice to switch. If they want to switch, they're not getting help. Part of the deal is as a customer, they've invested into a free coach. If that coach is not helping them, they have the right to choose a coach who will. Okay. So they could switch to you if they're not currently working with a coach. So they are going to need your coach ID. They're going to need your full name and they're going to need the customer relations email. So they can email customer relations at teambeachby.com and say, please switch my account to coach, whatever your name is and your coach ID. They're going to need that. Your first and last name and your coach ID. Because there's lots of Jane Smiths out there, but they can give you give that person to the right Jane Smith if they have the coach ID. So your status, if you are, if you have at least 50 personal volume points, so your Shakeology is 90, so you're clear, you're good, you're active. That means you're at active status. Um, okay, active status, sorry. And then you'll have whoever your upline sponsor is and your upline diamond, okay? Over here is where I want you to focus for now. It's your coach breaking news. All these different things are where you can listen to. This was the national wake-up call from this morning. There's all different kinds of links here. And then this is your success club tab. I told you that your, your 1595 gave you access to success on demand. You click this tab, you have access to tons and tons of personal development trainings and um, authors and speakers and so much information. But over here, this is where you can also spend time. News and training, click on training. Getting started. So we're already at getting started. You're going to click on getting started, learn more. Then you're going to click on coach because you are a coach. And if you click each tab and you scroll down, it's going to give you different things. Learn how. Learn how to do X, Y, and Z. There's videos, there's PDFs, there's all kinds of trainings for you, how to earn, etc. So this is your job to play around in your coach online office. All right. Anytime you want to go back to that main screen, you hit Team Beach Body. Again, I have a million tabs open, so my computer's really slow. Um, okay. So my business. What you want to first do is under my business, the first thing you want to do is come down to the My EFT Management. You're going to click that, and you're going to put in your bank information so that the as soon as you make a sale. The next time that you're going to get paid by Beachbody, it automatically goes to your bank account. It's a direct deposit, so you want to make sure you set that up ASAP. Anytime you want to check on a customer order, so anytime you get a new customer, let me go down here. So if you get a brand new customer, it'll say you'll have new customers. You can click on their name and find out what they ordered, and you get their email address for most of them. If you have a coach who rank advanced, it'll show up here. If you have a personally sponsored coach, it will show up here. This that says you have coaches in your organization, it just means that if you're on your coach's left leg or right leg and other coaches are signing coaches, they're going to show up there. doesn't mean that it's on your personally sponsored team. And then if you have coaches who are not on Shakeology, they're not really working the business, they're projected to go inactive, that's here. And unfortunately, I have a whole handful of them. All right. A um, few other things to show you over here. If you want to see different video options to send people uh, who are interested in a certain product, you can always go to the YouTube channel for Team Beachbody, or you come over here to Video Library, you click on English, unless they speak Spanish, and then you come to Products, and you can click on, so if somebody's interested in 21 Day Fix, 
then I have different videos that I could show them from the 21 day fix. Probably it would be this one. Okay. Um, and Shakeology, there's a couple great ones for Shakeology, the most popular. Um, I show them anyone that's under five minutes and under. Usually it's like three minutes and under because people aren't going to sit there and watch a big old video. And I think that's all I really needed to show you guys or that I usually go over in my coach training academy. But this is, you have access to this 24 7 unless they're doing maintenance on it. And so it's your job to just play around. Look under the business tools, look under the product tools. You say, I've only ever done one workout. How am I going to tell somebody what another workout is? Product tools. Learn about each workout. You don't have to have done it to learn about it. Watch a quick promo video about it so you understand oh, this is a strength training. This is what they do. This is a cardio. This is a dance, etc. Okay? So I hope that helps you guys. I go over goals with my new coaches. We write them down. I find out what their why is. Why are they going to work really hard? And I find out. Now, if you have a coach who's just signing up for the discount, I don't usually do all this with them because they're not invested. They don't want to work the business. They just want to save on their Shakeology, and I want to just make sure that they're saving. They're getting the sa their savings on their Shakeology. But anyone that wants to work the business, I go over this stuff with them. It gives me a chance to get to know them better, and it helps to like, show them where they can access different things so they can be in charge of their own business and see success. So these are all the tools that you have at your fingertips. So you don't need to wait and say, oh, my coach didn't show me or my coach isn't teaching me. You have tons of trainings on our team page. I'm always here for information, but you have all of this access at your fingertips. So it's your, your business, your job to be the CEO. So I hope that helps you guys. So if you're a new coach and you're like, oh crap, if I sign a coach, now I know, now you know what to do on a getting started right call. I send them an email before that has the about me form. So I have information about them before I introduce them on Facebook. So I have some background because not everybody I know, most people that I sign up as a coach, I didn't know them personally. A lot of them, it could be I connected with them on Facebook. Maybe they were in my challenge group, so I kind of got to know them. Or I met them off Instagram or some other social media platform. So I need to learn some information about them. So when I share about them, I can say different things about them. And then it gives me an idea. Oh, she's got three kids, etc. What is her job, etc. Okay, so it gives you just connecting, connecting. Then I'm going to send them the new coach welcome email. It's also in our team page file section. You're going to give them that business activity tracker. I give them the seven-day quick start guide that I showed you. Also in our team training is the uh, memory jogger. So it helps them think of people that they would have known. Um, and then there's some other, just some basic trainings. I try not to give them every document because it's overwhelming. So I'll just give them some other, like getting started right kind of information that they should have. But there's always the tools to just go through our coach online, our Facebook page. And on that files tab, there's so much information there. And I'll be sharing more about a new thing on my website that I'm going to do for you coaches so you have access to stuff as well. So I hope that helps um, for your getting started right. So I hope if you didn't have one that this was a great getting started right call for you. And for those of you um, who start to build your team, this gives you an idea of what to go over and how to go over it on a getting started right call. So I'm super excited for you guys. Again, welcome to Team Mad. And I cannot wait to be a part of this journey with you and celebrate you as you grow your business. Thanks, guys.